cars for Flying Lizard. And one of them could go all the way to Victory Lane in its first appearance. Not a bad effort to start the 2007 American Le Mans Series. Into turn 17 for the second last time. It's going to be two laps for these guys. The leader has not gone by to get the white flag, so it's two more times around. <laughs> Just what you wanted to hear, another one. Yeah, Bergmeister needs the time. Here comes Marco Werner, so he will get instruction to do one more lap. 3.7 miles for Werner, and he will have another one. The key is, if he is fast enough to pass these guys on this lap, then this could be the final lap for GT2 as well. That's correct. Nice lap. If, they, if he can catch the two GT2 cars and get by them, then this is their last time around as well. And I think he might because they're not too far down the road. Boy, I tell you, Bergmeister's going to have to make up a lot of ground, Calvin, in just that one lap. Well, I'd hate to see us for the Audi to split these two guys, flash across the finish line, get the checkered flag, and effectively stop Bergmeister's run here. Just up that close. updating you on the other classes, Brian Herder consolidates his position, second overall, first in P2, and the GT1 class battle. Oliver Gavin has a 21.7 second lead over the sister car, so they have got that done. Oh, Bergmeister wide at the apex there, he's pushing hard. And more cars to be involved. I'm watching every prototype yeah. that goes by, Look just trying Werner. to identify if it's Werner. That's one of the DHL Penske Porsches just getting by Jamie Mello. Oh, and that he could hold Jamie him up. wide there. That may have cost him a tenth or two. This is vital. Bergmeister will have seen Mello had to dab the brakes there just for an extra little bit. Gripping stuff here at the Mobile One 12 hours of Sebring. Where is that Audi? It's got to be close. Bergmeister is going to bury this thing under braking, try and take another car length off that leading Ferrari. They will have to do another lap. Werner will not catch them because they're into 17. And here we go. Lap, 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 lap. This is it. They will have to do one more. But Marco Werner for Audi Sport North America wins the 12 hours of Sebring. Spectacular style. But the race is on in GT2. This is far from over. The fireworks are blasting outside right now. But right now there's fireworks on the racetrack. Three and a half miles at best. Not even three and a half miles left to go. And Bergmeister is catching. The fireworks going naturally for the winners. Piro, Bieler, Werner, congratulations. We've got still so much time left to talk to those guys and talk about those guys, but we're going to stay with this hot battle. Bergmeister's time and distance is oh. running out. Mello's locked up, makes an error down into the hairpin. It is really on now. That cost him a lot of time. Now the next opportunity is breaking for 10. We're going to go through this left-hander quite quickly here and set up for the break zone. Mello defense to the inside. 12 hours of racing, and it has come down to this. Ferrari versus Porsche. Bergmeister gets on the inside, can't quite execute the move. Those Michelins are tortured on that Ferrari, double stinning them. They're at their end of their life right now. Bergmeister has the stronger car handling-wise. And he, he comes off the corner better. Nicer run off that corner will give him an advantage. Headed down here. The two most successful marks in Sebring history, and they are going blow for blow. Ferrari and Porsche, who will it be come the end? Bergmeister hugs the inside line. He's got to set him up here. He's got to get a run off 16. It's all about this corner, Calvin. Look at this oh, run. He's here got a run. run. Mello comes over to try and block him, but go Bergmeister. He's right up against the wall. How close do you like it? This is a drag race down towards turn 17. Comes the Ferrari. The Ferrari comes back. It's on the wrong side. It's outside. Bergmeister has the preferred line. Mello's going to have to do the hard and he hasn't got enough. Has he switched on him? He gets the inside run. Oh, and no, the no, no, no. race. They turn no, 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 no. again. And Mello will get it. The Ferrari oh. wins GT2. That was hard, tough driving right to the end. Ah. And the Racy Boys do it. What a finish. Unbelievable. Oh, nice job. What a race. That was risking it all. Right? Oh.